Hey Leo, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for April 25th through May 1st. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. You might happen to stumble upon this video after the time frame I mentioned, and that's just fine. You're going to find it whenever you're meant to find it, uh, whenever you're meant to hear the messages. Keep in mind this is a general reading for the Leo Collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take the ones that do and leave the ones that don't. We're going to see what is coming up here for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Alrighty, my dears, let's get right on into it and see what we have coming up here for Leo. I'm going to move you all just a little bit closer. And um, we're having like crazy windstorms. So if you guys hear weird noises <laughs> or if my power goes out or anything, bear with me. I think I had that happen once when I first started YouTube. I had the power go out and there was earthquakes and stuff. It was fun times, but that was a while ago. All right. So, Leo, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And so Ten of Pentacles is a very happy card. And I love all the roses here in this card. Um, we're going to talk about the roses here in just a moment. Now, Ten of Pentacles is a card that comes up in a few different ways. It can absolutely positively have to do with finances. Um, and in that situation, it's going to be finances in the way of like long-term security, long-term stability. We're not just talking about, you know, you want a little extra money off a scratcher or, uh, you know, someone gave you uh, some money because they came into money. Like with Ten of Pentacles, we're talking about long-term security, long-term stability, this could be a legacy that you leave behind for future generations. It's a comfortable and stable home and home life. It's generations coming together, celebrating holidays and special occasions and traditions, a sense of home, a sense of family, a sense of celebration. It's a very happy card. So this is not only financial improvements. This is like a whole nother next level right this is breaking out of that energy of feast or famine money is always going to fluctuate right we hear that saying it's not just the cliche money comes and money goes there's truth in that but for some of us that money comes and money goes cycle is a little too extreme right it's like either everything is great or absolute destitution and when we see the Ten of Pentacles, even though money comes and money goes, it's never that extreme. So like even on the quote unquote bad months or bad weeks, you're not hurting that bad. You're okay. You're fine. You're stable. And so a lot of you might be healing your relationship with money in that way where you're breaking out of that feast or famine. Ten of Pentacles also comes up when we're manifesting. Ten of Pentacles can be the things that we're dreaming about, the things that we're thinking about, we're seeing them take shape and come into physical fruition, you know, before our very eyes. So you may be seeing some of your manifestations come true this week. Uh, those of you who've been watching my readings for a while, you have heard me say that I am an intuitive reader. I read the cards, but I go based on what I feel in the energy and what messages I hear or receive or I'm shown while I'm reading but also sometimes the pictures in the cards jump out at me and so I was mentioning the roses here and the hearts are also jumping out at me so roses to me is telling me that a lot of you Leos are gonna have Archangel Jophiel around you right now which also tells me some of you may be coming out of a very very significant tower moment okay Archangel Jophiel I sometimes refer to as the redecorating angel. Oftentimes she comes in when we're at a new beginning and she helps us to like plan and create this new life and to bring beauty into our life. It's like 
you've taken out the garbage and now she's here to help bring in new stuff into this energetic space um and so she also helps us with our thought process so that we're thinking more positive thoughts and that we're being more loving towards ourselves and our internal dialogue so she's associated with roses uh, you may be seeing roses or being drawn to roses or rose fragrance. Uh, she's also associated with the color fuchsia, like a deep, 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 deep pink. Um, maybe some of you are drawn to that color right now. But I do feel like a lot of Leos are going to be having uh, help from Archangel Jophiel in the coming weeks as you're establishing this stability, which for many of you may feel like a new beginning. Okay. The next card that's coming up here for Leo is the Queen of Cups. And this could be water sign energy. So water sign could be Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. Okay. Um, and I know that for a lot of people, uh, you know, they might say, oh, well, Leo is not going to be compatible with a water sign. It depends. It depends on the placements. Okay. It depends on the placements, and I also believe that a lot of it comes down to uh, how mature two people are and how committed they are to making something work. I'm not one of those readers who says this sign can never be with that sign. Uh, and even, even then, you know, we're going to put romance aside here because in the weekly forecasts, I want to focus more on you and your journey and less on other people. But this could be a water sign influence coming in here. Uh, Queen of Cups outside of love and romance or outside of wifey, you know, the message of like wife or, or, or mother. Queen of Cups oftentimes comes up for me in my readings when spirit is saying that emotional self-care is crucial for you right now. If you're feeling stuck in your manifesting, if you're like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm being positive. I'm being positive as all get out. And I'm visualizing and I'm doing my vision boards. and I'm praying and I'm doing my gratitude journal. And I'm constantly in gratitude. Like why in the heck am I not manifesting? Queen of Cups can be coming up to say that emotional self-care is crucial for you right now. So that you're able to uh, progress, to grow, to manifest. This moon is really jumping out at me right now. And some of you have heard me say in some of the other readings that the moon cycles lately have been intense. They have been kicking my butt. I, I, I am exhausted. And I'm sure some of you are also feeling those moon energies because they've been so intense. And the full moon specifically is a time that makes us very emotional. And spirit is giving me a sense, Leo, that the thing that a lot of you are really having a hard time with we're coming out of Aries season. We've already entered Taurus season. But this Aries season was very, very intense. And it's bringing out the truth. It's bringing out the truth like we have never seen it. And people are showing themselves. People are showing their true colors. Uh, I know me personally in my life over the past couple of weeks, I have had people volunteer information to me or confess things to me I didn't even ask them about and this is like some of it's really dark stuff that like left my mouth hanging open you're like wow you never really know somebody right like I was grossed out I was like I don't want to be near this person this is so messed up and I feel like Leo a lot of you are having this experience where you're seeing the true colors of people in your life or you might have an experience like I had where somebody's like, hey, let me tell you what I did one time. And you're like, OK, yeah. And then you hear it and you're like, oh, my gosh, I wish I didn't know that. I wish I didn't know that. That's so messed up. Um, and so I feel like, Leo, some of you are like really having a hard time with that because I feel those of you who are having a hard time with that integrity and character are very important to you you may pride yourself on your character and your integrity and you may like to think that you surround yourself with people 
who have good character and integrity. And I feel like some of you are, are very discouraged right now at what you're seeing in the people around you or what you're seeing in the world where if you're not careful, some of you may entirely lose your hope or your faith in humanity. And uh, the Queen of Cups is saying, allow yourself to process these feelings. Don't bury them. Don't stifle them or repress them with false positivity where you're like well I'm not gonna be negative and I'm not gonna dwell on that and I'm only gonna think happy thoughts no uh-uh when we do that we bury stuff we push it down and if we have buried stuff that we're pushing down we're not gonna have room to receive new things so you need to let yourself be sad you need to let yourself be angry. You need to let yourself feel your feelings and let them out. This is not being negative. This is clearing space and making space and honoring your feelings. If you're not making your own emotions a priority, you cannot expect to manifest friends or partners or relationships or spouses or whatever uh, who are going to care about your feelings. If you yourself are treating your own feelings as an inconvenience, you're going to end up surrounded by people who feel very inconvenienced when you need to talk about something, when you have a problem, or when you're feeling down. You set the tone with the relationship you have with yourself. So this is a time for you, Leo, to be here for yourself emotionally and let yourself honor those feelings. Now, I know we have to be practical, like most of us work, right? Even if you're a self-employed person and you kind of sort of make your, your, your own hours, you still have to work hours in the day. And there's some things you're going to have to get to at, at you know, a time sensitive. You can't just be like, oh, well. I'm really emotional right now, so I'm just going to, you know, sit down and cry. Maybe you're not in a position where you can call out sick or you can step away from your work and cry that moment. But you can make a note of it. You can acknowledge that feeling. And when you're not working later that evening or whenever uh, on your lunch break, you can go somewhere and you can release this feeling. You can let yourself cry. Some of us maybe kind of have to... Uh, juggle it a little bit and when we can work it in but we need to work it in and after you've had the release make sure that you're giving yourself some good aftercare here make sure that you're comforting yourself that you're soothing yourself that you're cheering yourself up that you're doing something that is you know feeding and soothing your spirit and your soul whether it's listening to music or watching certain movies that make you feel better or in reading or journaling or painting or taking a nice bath or having a nice cup of tea or going for a swim, whatever it might be. But make sure that you're doing something after to comfort yourself and to soothe yourself. Um, it's going to be a very important process for you moving forward in your manifesting. The next card that's coming up here for Leo is the Eight of Wands. Now, if you can do this, Eight of Wands tells us this is energy where blockages have been removed, blockages have been cleared, and you can expect for things to happen very quickly. Eight of Wands can be good news. Eight of Wands can be travel. Eight of Wands can be connecting with our passion and being in that beautiful fire energy. Tapping into your own fire. You are a fire sign, right? I'm sorry, you guys might hear my dog snoring. He snores like a grown man. He is just the funniest thing. He's a he's a he's a baby, but he's a very big dog. He's so you guys might hear him. <laughs> I don't know if the mic's picking it up. But the eight of wands here is gonna be really fast moving energy. Uh being connected with our passion, being uh, enthusiastic, being excited. There can also be a sense of travel. So maybe some of you are manifesting the opportunity to travel. I do feel some of you may also be wanting to find people from your past 
and you're wanting to reconnect with these people from your past and you're open to however it might be like you're open to if it's just a friendship or even if they don't want to talk to you you're even open to that you're open to things developing and becoming romantic if that feels natural but it's like you don't know what to expect but I feel like Leo some of you are nostalgic and there are certain people from the past coming up from your mind for some of you maybe way back from like junior high junior high high school and you're like I want to just kind of connect and see where they are what's going on in their life you know like what kind of people are they right now and I feel like a lot of this you're feeling led or guided to do this because I feel like you're connecting with your inner teenager. I feel like Leo is coming into a time of like inner teenager work. We talk a lot about the inner child and inner child work. I feel like Leo is coming into a time of connecting with your inner teenager. And so for some of you, this may be a bit of an adventure that you're setting off um, on and getting your zeal, getting your ambition, getting your fire back. The next card that's coming up for you all is the temperance card now this could be sagittarius energy some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius um if you have a sagittarius placement or placements there can be big changes and big shifts happening for you in those areas of your life or in those houses but the temperance card is also a card that tells us of divine timing and the temperance card is also a card where it can come up when spirit is working through us or we are feeling called onto a certain path. We're feeling led or called onto a certain path. And I feel a sense of aligning here where you feel like you're finally on the right path. You feel like you're finally on the right road. And again, you guys know I read intuitively and as I'm looking at this photo, what's really jumping out at me is the, the rainbow colors here. Um... And this is giving me a feeling or the sense of the chakras clearing and the chakras aligning. I feel like you're coming into a high level of balance within yourself. And I feel like this is why Queen of Cups came up for you guys. Because you're coming into a time of balancing your emotions without ignoring them and without repressing them. And I feel as soon as you do that, everything is coming into place. Everything is falling into place. Your chakras are cleared and aligned, running on full cylinders. There's beautiful energy flowing through your body as a result. And you're like, this is it. I'm in the flow. I'm on the path. I'm going in the direction I meant to go. And as a result, Leo, I feel like a lot of things are going to happen for you a lot more effortlessly. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those might resonate more for you than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you click on the link in the description of this video, it will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. Love readings for April are linked in the description of this video. Love readings for May are up. I haven't linked them yet, but if you click on the video tab on my channel, it will take you to all of the videos and you'll see the May videos posted there for Love and Romance. Don't forget the daily messages I post. Keep an eye out for those as well. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. Take care and be well, my dears. Bye.